Hi, my name is Amanda Goodman, product consultant here at DCOM. Today we're going to talk about the requirements manufacturers and distributors have for the shelf life that they need to establish with finished goods that they're shipping to their customers. Where we need to identify those rules is in the item to customer part cross-reference, where we can establish for a very specific product that we're selling to either bill to or ship to records, their shelf life either at a percentage level or at a day's requirement level. What this does is it gives operators the visibility to only the lots that meet that shelf life requirement when they are reserving inventory or shipping inventory against a specific sales order. So when we pull up what the lots are available when we're reserving that inventory, the first available lots that we see are only the lots that meet that shelf life requirement because based on security, that is what's gonna show up. Now, if you have the security to look at all the lots on hand, you are able to see by switching to all available lots, the additional lots that would be in inventory. The reason why we didn't see all of the lots initially is that the oldest lots in inventory do not meet the shelf life requirements that we had established for that item and that bill to or ship to. Now, when operators are on the warehouse floor, as you see here, we're emulating a warehouse management scanner screen. When that operator scans a barcode label of the finished good, and if they scan a label that doesn't meet that customer requirement for shelf life, it is gonna stop the operator from moving forward, and it's not gonna allow them to proceed in reserving the inventory or shipping that sales order.